Let's be frank for a minute about, about the Christian experience on this planet called the earth in this system called the world. We're in this system called the world, but we're not of it. We're in it, not of it. We're in Christ. We're not of this political system. We're of the kingdom of God. We have a king. We don't have a president. So frankly, we should be uh, definitely experience uh, the Christian experience here on the earth and in the workplace, which is the world system. See, we as Christians, we don't have a job. We have a mission field. We were sent to every job, to every location, to be a light, to be fishers of men. We were appointed by Christ, transformed by the Holy Spirit, to be missionaries wherever we are. And of course, there's different methods of doing it. They're, they're, in, the, in the world, there are fishermen who fish for real fish. Some are very professional and some are a little bit clumsy. So we should learn how to present Christ as a tool to fish for men's souls. The Holy Spirit will teach you that if you will uh, take your time to to pray and and seek his guidance and uh, you know when I first found the Lord I was beating everybody over the head with the Bible and they were running from me I don't blame them now I pray and I ask God to lead me to certain people whom he would want me to speak to that he's already preparing to hear me or to hear him they're not hearing me so I've become a fisher uh, of men in my occupation for 40 years I was in the same occupation and the only reason I lasted there for 40 years is because I knew that God had sent me there and what a beautiful experience it was because I was around people all day long and that's what I love to do as, an, uh, as God has appointed me to be uh, the ministry of evangelism Everybody in the body of Christ has a job to do. Find out what that is or you just have no effect. So in the job place, and that's what I want to speak about, the frankly about the man in the job place, he should be very obviously letting everyone know that he is a Christian right off the bat. So when they ask you to do stupid things, they were warned, you don't go there. When they steal things right in front of you, you tell them, don't do that, I'll turn you in. When uh, other men who either are backslidden Christians or lukewarm Christians or not Christians at all, at all are hitting an all, on all the women, uh, you don't go there. And they might say, boy, he's stuck up, he's standoffish. It, no, it's because you're not interested in that, you're there to do a job that you sign an application for and you're going to do it as unto the Lord not to the company and the Christian should be the best employee you could ever find he doesn't steal, cheat, lie he's not going to do any of these things because he's doing the job unto the Lord but a lot of Christians uh, won't take a stand for Christ in the workplace because they say they don't want to offend nobody. Light has no other choice but to offend darkness. Light offends darkness. Even if you don't say a word, the way you live and the way you are presented and, uh, and transformed, you're a, an offense already. They wonder, wonder why he uh, is like he is, even if you don't say a word. Just the way you carry yourself, the way God has caused you to be in yourself. So don't hide the fact that you are a Christian. Be proud of that. And you will be criticized. And of course, you'll, you'll draw persecution. That's what goes on. 
but hiding it is even worse you know when you're in the lunchroom and everybody's talking about how they were trying to hit on the secretary at the, the job you are all in and you just kind of go along with it or laugh at all this the perverted jokes and then they start showing uh, all these things they have on their phone and you go right along with it instead of stay, taking a stand for Christ uh, you know you're a joke if you say you're a Christian and you're still even doing all those things on your job you're a joke they think that you're a phony that you're a hypocrite and you definitely are not doing anything for Christ's sake you're uh, kind of tainting the whole Christian uh, purpose to be there so men of God should take a stand for God be a man of God and make everybody know who you are and why you are that way Christ is the reason we are what we are it's all about Christ it's not about you anyways take a stand for Christ come out of your hiding place everybody else come out of the closet why don't you why don't Christians come out of the closet everybody else did is it because we're afraid pray that God gives you wisdom and courage to take a stand for him and you'll see that your whole life will become transformed and people will sneak away like Nicodemus did to Jesus and ask you would you pray for my son who's on drugs my wife has cancer could you please pray for her and they won't even let their buddies know that they're asking you this because they had to shyly sneak away because they're making fun of you when they're with that guy and that's okay because we were one of them we know what's going on we used to be one of them we used to uh, make fun of Christians and we thought it was a big joke but now that we're in Christ, we know how they are. They just don't know how we are because they're not there. But pray for them. Love them. Love your enemies. Do good who despitefully use you. Ask God to help you. Be a Christian in your workplace, wherever you are. Take a stand against evil, against wrongdoing, and stand up for Christ. Love you.